Hello and welcome to this video about making a decision about university study. My name is Sophie and if you've listened to my other video in this Get Started series, you'll know that I work at Birkbeck supporting adults who are interested in coming to university after a break from education. If you haven't yet listened to this video, you might want to go back to it at some point as it introduces the idea of university, why you might want to do it and what the benefits are. So you're thinking about going to university and perhaps you're watching this video because you'd like some help with making that decision. This video will look at how to decide on the course, the level and the intensity of your studies, how you can prepare for learning, uh, where you can get help from and some next steps. So we're going to start off by thinking about how to choose the course based on the content. This is a very personal decision, but you'll want to make sure that whatever you choose, that the course gets you excited and that it meets the aims for why you're going to university. And also you'll need to have a good idea as to what subjects will be covered by the course. It sounds really obvious, but to take history as an example, you might be interested in 20th century European history, but have absolutely no interest in British medieval history. Make sure if you decide to study something that the course that you choose will cover the particular approach or subjects that you'd like to explore in more detail. Whatever you want to study, if the course you choose doesn't offer the subjects that you're interested in, you're not going to get very far with it. So let's think about level now. If you haven't been to university before, you'll be going in for undergraduate study, which is the first level at university. Many universities, including Birkbeck, offer undergraduate degree. The most common ones which you might have already heard of are Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science, but it will depend on the subject that you choose. At Birkbeck we offer a full undergraduate degree in three to four years depending on whether you choose to study full or part-time. If you don't want to do a full degree we also offer other options including the Certificate in Higher Education which is over one to two years again depending on if you choose to study full or part-time. This is a particularly good option if you're returning to study after a break and aren't sure whether you'd actually like to do a full degree. Although if you do finish the Cert HE and then decide you'd like to go on and study some more, that's definitely an option. The next thing to think about is how long you actually want to spend studying. The intensity of the course, that's if you choose to study full or part-time, will determine how many days a week you'll be attending your classes and also how much time you'll need to spend studying in between. It will also affect the total length of time that you'll be studying the course for altogether. What you choose will depend on how intensively you want to study, but also what your daytime work, family and other personal commitments are. You need to take into account the time commitment for attending classes as well as undertaking study at home, in the library, uh, preparing for classes and following up afterwards. Each class will have required an additional reading and most lecturers give a breakdown of readings in advance of each class. Everyone is different and the study time required varies topic by topic and subject by subject. As a guide you should expect to schedule two hours of self-study for each hour of face-to-face -face teaching in class. So the next thing you'll need to think about when it comes to studying at university is how you actually want to do it and what way will work best for you. Mostly at university the teaching and learning is a combination of lectures which are a big group where the teacher presents slides and invites questions and seminars which are smaller groups where you'll discuss readings you've been set in advance relating to the topic from the lecture. You might have to write essays, do group projects and presentations, experiments or field trips and excursions depending on the subject you're doing. Some courses even have the opportunity to travel abroad. Again, make sure the course that you choose is going to be taught and assessed in the way that is right for you. Some universities offer online or distance learning and others do the majority of their teaching face to face. At Birkbeck all our courses are in the evening which leaves you free for work and other responsibilities during the day. You can find all the information on the different courses we offer at Birkbeck on our website. It's fair to say that learning at university is more independent and you'll have lots of self-study to do but there's plenty of resources available and there's also your course mates if you want to start a study group with them. At Birkbeck 
We have lots of courses which don't require any previous qualifications and many students come to us after years of not stepping foot in a classroom. If that's where you are, a really good place to start is to take part in some free learning activities to help you find out what you're interested in and to be really sure you'd want to spend time and money studying that subject at a higher level. Plus, you will have to write about your subject in your personal statement when you apply for the course, so it will set you up to know what to expect and give you some examples to have up your sleeve. I should just stress again, you are not expected to have all of the knowledge and skills before you start. That will come gradually over the course of your studies. I'm just talking about finding some tasters to get you going. And there are lots of things which can get you into that learning mindset. You might develop your interest in your chosen subject through TED Talks, Future Learn, online activities at Birkbeck or podcasts. There's plenty of free learning available through museums, cultural organisations and trade unions and the TUC. You could also read books and articles on the subject you're interested in studying and your local library may even have activities available online. So once you've found that subject which gets you really excited, what next? So if that course is here at Birkbeck and you want to know more about studying here, you can find lots of upcoming online events and also use our Unibuddy service to speak to current students at Birkbeck about what it's like to study here. It's also a good idea to think about what factors might make studying at university tricky for you. You can identify support using a website called My Study My Way. If you're thinking you'd like to go ahead and make an application to Birkbeck, then we've got a video to help you with writing a personal statement and with making an application to the course. There's lots of other support available and you can visit Birkbeck's website for information on getting support with a disability, well-being issues, some study skills advice and how to get further assistance regarding your finances prior to study. We recommend getting all the help and assistance that you need well in advance of your course starting time so that it's all in place ready for when you start. Finally, if you do come to study here at Birkbeck, we run a mentoring scheme which pairs up first year students with a student who is further along into their course. So that's the end of this presentation. But before I go, I want to leave you with some more things to think about on your own. I would encourage you to think about what you need to do now, if there's any further help that you need before you start and where you can get this from. If you have any questions, you can email us on getstarted at bbk.ac.uk and you can watch this video as many times as you like if there's anything you'd like to go back to. If you like, you could write down up to three next steps that you'll take away from this video. And if you've got any questions at all, just give us a shout.